He's the only man to have defeated Rafa Nadal at Roland Garros. Last year, Robin Sogling wrote himself into the history books by knocking out Rafa in the semis and going on to face Federer in the final. I was nervous. Uh, I think that's normal. Uh, you know, playing a Grand Slam final is, I think, it's something that every player dreams about. Uh, and, you know, and that's, that's what you play for, to play well in the bigger tournaments. So I was, I was really nervous, but, but at the same time, really excited. Yeah, it was a great match. I think I, I played really well. The day before, I kept telling myself that I had a chance to win. I know it's, it's of course, it's, it's very difficult to beat, to beat Rafa in Paris, uh, best of five, and uh, I think he never, never lost a match in Roland Garros before, before our match. So, you know, it was, it was great. But uh, after the match, I was really happy. But I, I tried to stay focused all the, all the time after because I, I was still in the tournament and I, I didn't want to beat Rafa and then, and then played really bad in the next match. So. Um, so I think it was, it was tough. For Robin, it was the culmination of a lot of hard work and dedication. Of course, it's a special feeling, but there, I had so many good victories. I had so many good, uh, good moments from there. So it's not, it's not that it's, it's only one, one thing that sticks out. So but what I'm most happy about that is, is I played so well for, for two weeks in a row. As a Grand Slam finalist, life would never be the same again. A lot of things that has changed since, since after Paris. You know, it gave me a lot of confidence. Of course, I, I played really well. I was beating a lot of good players. And it gave me confidence. And after that, I, I started to play really well. Overall, it's, it's been great. And I'm, I'm still feeling that I'm, that I'm improving and, and, and becoming a better player, which is very nice. <laughs> I grew up there were so many good Swedish players on tour and there was there were always always someone to watch and uh, they inspired me a lot and and you know I feel like uh, hopefully I can do the same to to kids and and, and and young people so they can start playing tennis in Sweden. Interest now in Sweden is huge after Södling's success. The success he had uh, last year was at a time when uh, Swedish tennis was actually climbing. All the tennis clubs are uh, packed with juniors. They, they can't fit more kids into play. We definitely see a new uh, trend in tennis in Sweden, so uh, that's what's something that we need to work on. Given his success last year, unsurprisingly, clay has become Söderling's favorite surface. The clay court season, that's where, where, where it all started last year. I think that's where I started to play really well. And, and of course, uh, Roland Garros gave me a lot of confidence. And uh, you know, I think since then I um, I kept my level really good, and I, I played really well. And hopefully, I can I can do well at Paris this year as well. I like to play on clay. It's 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 a good surface, and it, it suits my game pretty well. But it's it, it's not easy. There's there's a lot of good players players out there, and you have to do well in, in, in every match. I think the, the bounce is a little bit higher. Um, I get a little, little bit more time for, for my forehand. I, I have time to move around uh, and try to dictate play with, with, with my forehand. So, um, you know, I actually, I, I like to play on every surface. And, uh, and that's, that's what I feel is really good with my game. You know, I don't have any, have any surface that I, I don't really like. There's a lot of players, especially especially good clay court players. Uh, all the Spanish guys and all the South Americans, they they, they always do well uh, every year on clay. So um, you have to be you have to watch out. And uh, as I said, you know you have to play uh, your best tennis every match if if you want to have a chance to win. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered. Former ATP World Tour player Justin Gimmelstopp with more from behind the scenes at Roland Garros. So good they named him Super Mario. We speak to Croatia's Mario Ancic on his battle back from illness. Until then, make sure you log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.